Hey everyone, I've decided to try something a little different today. I'm stuck at home, you should be stuck at home too. So I've decided to start making those videos so I can teach you some stuff and you can improve your photography. This is the perfect time for everyone to learn new skills and hopefully today I can teach you a new technique, something you haven't used before and improve your photography. So today we're gonna talk about the clone stamp tool in Photoshop and how you can remove pretty much anything from a photo. And we're gonna see how to go from this photo to this photo in just 10 minutes. So we're gonna jump on a computer and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this is the file we're gonna be working with today. I'm gonna open it up in Photoshop right now. So today we're gonna be working with this image right here. Uh, and what I would like to do here is to make it cleaner and remove this person that is right here. So we're gonna be working on this part right here of the image. First thing first, uh, the first rule of Photoshop, you never work on your base layer. So we're gonna create a new layer right here. And then we're gonna select the clone stamp tool. So the clone stamp tool is this tool right here, or you can simply press S on uh, your keyboard. So this tool allows you to sample one part of the image and paste it somewhere else. I have a brush right here. I'm gonna make it big so everyone can see it. If I press Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, I have this shape that comes up. It's what allows you to sample one part of the image. So for example, let's say if I come here on her arm and I sample this part, so I hold uh, Option or Alt and I click on this part. If I move around, I'm gonna start pasting the, the part of the image that I just sampled. So let's say I go here, I'm just pasting exactly what I just sampled. This is what we're gonna be using to remove uh, this person right here from this image. Now, before I even start, the first thing that you have to remember all the time is that no one else but you know what the original image looks like, okay? So when people are gonna see this final image, no one will know that somebody was here, okay? And you always have to keep this in mind when editing and removing stuff or adding things in your pictures. No one knows what was the original image, okay? So uh, as for settings, keep the opacity and flow at 100%. Hardness, I like to keep it around between 25 and 30, just so we have some sort of feather around it. And it's not just uh, a straight line like you can see here. So I always like to keep some feather. So 26 to 30% uh, is enough. And the size will depend on how much of the image you have to um, copy and paste. What I like to do first is to recreate lines, elements that should be here. If this person wasn't here, what would be behind it? So as you can tell, we have this blue line right here. We're gonna recreate that line here, all the way here, as well as this one right here. As you can see the end of the field right here, it's a long line. So technically this line should keep on going behind this person. So we're gonna create these two lines and then the rest of the image will be pretty simple because everything above this line right here is gonna be pretty much this tree. As for the grass, well, everything here is out of focus. So it's gonna be pretty simple to sample this part right here of the image and we're gonna come and paste it under this person. And after that, same thing for the bottom of the blue line and everything will be gone. Okay, so we're gonna take the clone stamp tool. I like the size of this. So I'm gonna come here and I'm going to sample this blue line. So I'm just gonna click on it. You see this target? I'm just gonna click here. And now, as you can see, I have this blue line and wherever I'm gonna start painting, I'm gonna start painting, painting this part of the image. Make sure it's perfectly aligned. Oop, and there we go, I'm just gonna paint. And as you can tell, I'm painting away this blue line. And there we go. Okay, perfect. So now we have the blue line. And if, again, if you zoom out, no one else know um, that somebody was here before if you remove this. Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to recreate this line, the line that is uh, around the goalpost here. So what we can do here, we just want the line really, because then we can make the tree come all the way down. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna copy this line right here and we're gonna come all the way here where it aligns and we're gonna recreate this line. There we go. So the line that was here is now here. So now we have pretty much all our lines done. So we're just gonna finish up this goalpost right here. We're gonna come right here to paste it. And there we go. So now the goalpost goes all the way down. And then here, as you can see, it's just out of focus plain grass 
to paste so this one is going to be very simple we're just going to come all the way here sample uh, this part of the grass right here and then come here make the brush a little bigger and then we can just brush away what was left on uh, this image and there we go okay now you can see that right here we have a straight line a line that would make it obvious from a distance that this should not be here okay this is because we are copying some lighter uh, grass so what we're gonna do in this case is take a bigger brush and we're gonna come all the way up to um, opacity and we're gonna drop it down to around 30 percent and what this is going to do is just instead of pasting a strong color it's just gonna partially paste it so if you come here and you brush over this line you can see that we are blending both parts of the image so if you come back out as you can see the grass makes total sense it just blends in perfectly from uh, left to right so to finish the tree right here all we're gonna do is sample the tree some leaves and then simply just paste it over the leg of the person that was here you can come all the way up here and sample this part right here at merge with the sky make sure your opacity is back to 100 percent otherwise you just paste half of the image and we're gonna come here and remove this part right here and then as you can see we are pasting the tree and now the main thing that you're going to want to do because we can only work with this tree right here to recreate all that part we only have this uh, portion of the image available to us so what we're going to do is sample multiple times just to make sure we don't recreate a pattern um, that is just right next to it that would make it obvious that we copied something from here to paste it right next to it so we're just gonna come and sample this part right here and paste it here and then we can come and get some more of that come here and then let's paste let's take this one and come all the way here and there we go again when you when you zoom out there is no way you could tell that someone was here before so there we go there we have it and then if i want to be really precise i will remove this um, quick darker part of the grass right here i'm just going to sample right below it this grass so there is no pattern so no one will know that this is not the right spot and there we go before and after we just created a tree created lines that were not here before but because we used other parts of the image now we end up with this finish, finished products and it looks perfectly natural. It looks like this was the actual image. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna quickly save this one. Since I wanna post this uh, photo to Instagram, I'm just gonna resize the image. So to do so and export in the right dimension directly, you're gonna go to file, export, export as. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the width and we're gonna make 1080 and then it's gonna resize the height accordingly because we want to keep that 4 by 5 ratio so it scaled down automatically to 24% of the actual image so you can simply export and come back here wherever you want to save it and save and now that it is saved we can come back here and there we go this is our final image and again this is the before image and as you can tell there's a pretty major difference and it looks perfectly natural and that's something you always want to keep in mind when you use the clone stamp tool is that only you know what you removed so there you have it uh, the clone stamp tool very simple tool to use very powerful you can remove pretty much anything from any picture i personally use it all the time whether i want to remove people objects uh, anything that's disturbing in a photo the clone stamp tool is always my go-to reach out to me with any questions you may have about this tool don't hesitate to leave a comment down below to tell me what you like what you didn't like what you would like me to improve for the next videos and uh, i'll catch you in the next one